Well, this week, the show's going to the dogs. Welcome to Drastic Art Measures. <laughs> All right, so hey guys, out there. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much for for tuning in this week, guys. Um, it's been a fun week. Well, sorta. It's been it's been a, this week's had its up and down, so that's that's for sure. It's been yeah. weird. Yeah, it, yeah. It, you haven't been feeling good, so no. I end up having 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 a, having a kidney infection, which I have a lot of those, but. You know, um, but my kidneys have always been against me. I don't know; they've always been against me. You Your know. mother is appalled that she didn't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it, was not, it was not a good time with that. But, um, but um, I don't know. You know, and this is my good kidney. You know, my bad one left when I was seven, so this is the one that actually wanted to stick around. Um, oh, wait, let me turn off this fan real quick. Oh, you know what? Oh, and we kind of sprung this on you too, guys. We just started up. We didn't start the like getting ready music or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the little do, 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 do. That's the best part. That I know. That's the best that part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's what threw me off. That was like, where is the button? Anyway, okay, okay. Party. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, right. you know. Um, you know, part of this, like, our, our computer keeps trying to die. Like, you know, it's just like it's not made for the video. I know I've said that before, but so it's getting a little nutty. Uh, but you know, it's National Dog Day. And it's Friday, so it's a perfect time to paint Echo. And I do a painting of Echo like every few, I don't know, every year I do a, about a, a painting of Echo. Yeah, so, yeah. And I haven't done one this year yet, so. Nope, nope. This will be good. Yeah, and she's an incredible dog. She she actually, like, she travels all over the place. Like, we've, she's on over 400 plane trips. She's been all over the country, all over the world. She's been, um, she was put in the Animal Hall of Fame last year. Just an incredible dog. And, um. You know, so so I, every year I paint her, and every year the paintings are a little bit different. Like it just changes a little bit because mm -hmm. you know the mm -hmm. more more travels, more going places, and all this sort of thing, and there's more colors. Like the first painting I did ever was an oil painting, and it was um, man, it was um, it was so it was so long ago, and it was just kind of drab. Yeah, you know? it was a little dark. It yeah, was, and then there was really only like purples and blues and black, and that was it. Yeah, and you know, and so and so every since um, ever since there's more and more colors, gets more motion and. For me, colors of motion, so every year it gets brighter and brighter. Um, but one of the neat things about her, you know, it's what well, pet dog, like dogs are just this incredible thing. They're, they're, they're I don't know, I, I don't know, I want to talk about dogs all night. I don't know, I'm, I get really excited about dogs. Like, we, we, you know, pet, pet dogs are incredible, they add so much to your life. I saw something interesting today. They're, they've started um, training dogs to smell out of a um, super bug in hospitals called C. diff or oh, diff. Ooh, really? really? Yeah, so that they so, so, It sounds like a rapper from the 80s, C. diff. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> there he is. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do, man. Just like you smell cancer. Man. Yeah, yeah. Just like cancer. And so the, they, you know, train them from when they're really little and, and then take them around the hospitals. Right now, I think there's only one. Wow. And then, um, and they're... They're trying, and their hospitals all around are getting on board. So there's. Is this like a germ that would grow in the hospital? That. Yeah, I mean, it's a bacteria that's right. just gotten out of hand. That Man. that you know, I mean, no, nowadays right. antibiotics are only doing so oh, good. So. Man, it's crazy. So yeah, dogs are amazing. They are. They're you know, and and they they do so much for us. It's just it's just incredible. But and it's weird though with 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 Echo because I've always had pet dogs. You know, I mean, I usually have a dog, or if not more than one dog, and and. I have to say, you know, I mean, like the bond that you have with a pet dog is really something. But then this dog, the bond that you have with a, a service dog or guide dog, because I know, like, whenever it took me a little while to be able to be able to trust, like, putting my, I don't know, my life in her hands. Every time you cross the street somewhere, you know, and you hear the traffic and the horns and all the stuff going on, and you, you know, you're crossing the street and you're using your, you know, I mean, you're not putting everything in, or you're using your O and M skills that you learn, but. But um, you're basically trusting her to get to get you across, not tripping you or anything like that. Yeah. And, um, you know, and you do that constantly. And like I said, she's been on over 400 plane trips. I don't know how many car trips, truck trips, <laughs> buses. She's and, way better at guiding you than I am. Well, she's better. <laughs> That's you know, sure. well, you know it's, it's one of the things. Like, it's one of the neat things about a guide dog. They're they're better than anybody. You know, or if you have like a seizure alert dog or a, di a, a, a diabetes dog, you know, that can detect the the, the insulin in the blood, the sugar. You know they're better than a human because they're then they're always think thinking about it. You know, it's, yeah. it's like when she walks into a room, every room she walks into, she scans the room, she looks around, and she looks for things that she knows, like she like she'll she'll see an elevator, in the button for an elevator. She'll look at the um, uh, the 
chairs, like where the chairs are, where, the, where trash cans are. So whenever you ask her where something is, she goes right to it. And you can tell if she knows where it is or not because she'll go right to it. Mm -hmm. Where, Like if I ask, like, hey, where's, um, can, can um, find, find J J Jackie? And I'm not sure where you are and she hasn't seen you. She'll start swinging her head around. She's like, well, where is she? I don't know. Yeah. But so anyway, it, it's well, amazing to me if she can find me. Yeah. You know, Jack. I mean, no. Yeah. It's yeah. unreal. Yeah, it's, um, you know, but she, she only, she can only find people that she really knows, though. Well, you know, she's around. I mean, she can't find, you know, like, you know, where's, <laughs> where, where's, where's, where, where's D, D.B. Cook Cooper? Let's find him. Yeah. Find, find him that kind of bad dog. She can't find her yeah. keys. You know. Yeah, yeah, she can't find her keys. Although, although, although she can find the car, though, which is awesome. So. Yeah, that helps in a giant parking lot. <laughs> So what what I have here tonight, and I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a painting of Echo, and um, and I, I did some sketching. Here, maybe so if you hold it up, you can you can hold it up a little bit and then tilt it to an angle. People can kind of see. Yeah, see, like well, the gloss. Like if you can explain the, because you can kind of see a hint of gloss where yeah. the coloring is. Yeah. Well, when, whenever I sketch, I usually sketch with white because it's a tactile paint that I can feel, and um, so so to make it where I can do at least most of a painting during the show, I usually try trying to sketch before the show. So, so I get it out a little bit so I can work it out. And um, so, so I, I, I sketch with a tactile paint. So, so that's what I have here. Um, and if you were sketching, just use a pencil or a pen or, you know, anything, you know, any of that kind of stuff. But for me, I need to use this. I usually use white because the white doesn't interfere with the other colors. Where if you have a black line and you want to put like pale yellow over it, it needs to be a very opaque pale yellow to cover that black line. Where if I draw with white, since I'm using my sense of touch, it gives me an advantage because it just covers it up just like it's a canvas. So you know, I can I still have my line. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so take that, guys. <laughs> so so that so that makes that easier. Um, and actually, I've got some brushes here, and I think the brush I'm probably going to use I'm going to use a round, but I'm not sure. Are those new brushes? They are. You know, I, I buy I buy everything in bulk, so I have these okay. brushes, and um. I was I was at a I was, I was doing a workshop at a school some somewhere and um and they they had all they had, they had a box of brushes like that like I usually wait for a Hobby Lobby or Michaels or or a um or an art store to have a sale then I would go in and buy a bunch of the brushes half off but I found if you buy a box of brushes you can get a really good deal and if you need a brush really quickly then you've got it so let me show you see this this is just a round brush. And I like rounds. Um, it, it comes down to a tip that's really pointy, so so you can actually make a pretty fine line with these. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it, I mean, this this is a quintessential art brush. Like whenever you see somebody and they and they and they do a drawing of an art brush or something, it's usually one of these. It's not like a flat or a filbert or yeah. something like that or a big bushy or a fan brush. It's usually one of these. So you take the quintessential brush. And my colors here, the colors that I'm going to use for this. I know this is going to seem kind of funny because it looks like I'm just going to say, oh, the rainbow. But, <laughs> um, but there's quite a few colors. Um, it's mostly going to be black. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sketch this out in black. And then I'm going to start adding, I'm going to let the black dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with the other colors. And this is something I, I do a lot. I, 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 love, I love to work in blacks and whites and then come in and add color. Which is funny. Here, let me, actually, let me show you really quickly. And then we'll get started. This, this is a painting I'm working on that's a commission. Um, and it's for a couple that have two two daughters. As you can see, I went in and I drew it. And I have a, I have a tree's going to be over here. Then I'm have some buildings, and it's all still kind of vague. But I, I did the drawing in sort of black and white. I, actually, this I used a blue, but um, it was just because I couldn't find black. <laughs> it was it was around there somewhere. <laughs> so and there's uh, there's other drawings that you can t feel, but you can't see in this. But so that's what I use. So I use the black and white. But just because you're drawing with black and white doesn't mean it has to not be colorful. You can have lots and lots of color. So I have lots and lots of um, paint over here. So I have black, but what I'm going to do, I have the same paint, but I've already got a mixture. Look, it's already mixed up so that it's um, sure, so that it flows. So I'm going to start with the black. And this is really kind of a speed thing. Like I, I have lots of different bottles. Like I have, I have different size bottles, different types of bottles. Do you, are there different viscosities in each bottle? Yes, yes there is. So like this, if, if you can tell, um, I should put this yeah, down there. It's really. It's Oh good, you can tell it. This is the same paint. Don't let me in there. This is the same paint, but it's thick. It's yeah. really, really thick. So, and this just has different mediums. We've got tons of mediums. Um, then I have another one in a bottle over here, which I, I won't get it, but it's like it's like somewhere in between those two. So it just makes it where 
if I know I have the color and I have the color that I want to use, I don't, I don't have to waste a lot of time just trying to find it. Let me see here. So I'm just going to start putting some color down. After a little while, um, um, I have a technique of the week this week, and I actually want to show you some ideas on, on how to, to, to draw your own dog or, or dog's face, how, how to get perspective with that, or, or to keep perspective. You know what? Uh, I'm actually going to sw switch to a, a bigger round because... You're laying down a lot of paint at yeah. once or something? Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of so you're, cool. you're putting down um, a lot of black, so... I mean, are you coming, are you going to, because sometimes you just put washes with lightness, uh -huh. so what is your plan to put color on top of it, or is that just it, they're going to be opaques, or? Yeah, that's a, that's Well, uh, while you're doing that, John, I, we have some people that have joined us, um, and they're chiming in on the chat, so, um, we can, we, let's see, we've got... Uh, Valerie's with us, Kim, Linda E, hey, Valerie. Uncle, Donna, hey guys. Um, lots of people, lots of, lots of happy, happy National Dog Day. <laughs> awesome. So, um, awesome. I have a question uh, for the chat out there. What kind of dog do you have if you do have a dog? So I'm curious. Write in on the chat and let me know. We'll, we'll tell the crowd. One second, I'm looking for a round that I, that I know I have. I can't find it. Oh well. Oh well. Work on it. We also have Aiden Jackson happens. joining us. Oh yeah, Jack's, <laughs> Jack's and, over there. Um, and Artful Yours with Diana. This is Jack. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> And Jack, and Jack's actually um, playing a vintage vid video game. It's like a, it's video a Game Boy, and I, I finally got into Game Boys. I have a Super Street Fighter Two, and a, a new game. It's Pokemon Style Red, which, which is mostly for fire types. Yes, yeah, we are into the vintage video game. So, and um. mom's, and mom's here, and. Um, the way we set up the studio this this week, you might actually see her walk behind me. So, um, mom does have legs. I don't know if anybody's seen her stand yet. <laughs> you always hear her sitting over there. It's like, oh. so, so it's going to be an exciting episode. <laughs> there may be walking involved. So. But so so what I've done is I, I I switched to a one inch flat. Okay. So so it's just a one inch flat, and it's because I can't find my round. <laughs> I don't know where it is. It's ridiculous. Um, and that just gives you more of a broad stroke. It does. You know what? I probably have it over there. I was working on a painting over there. I was touching some stuff up. But that's okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it just gives you a broad stroke. And the reason is because um, I'm going to have a lot of, of um, area here to cover. So I'm just putting this in. kind of looks like the Statue of Liberty. But Does like it? half of it's cut off. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it's going to change a little bit, I bet. I hope. We'll see. Now it looks like you're making a skating ramp, but more little... <laughs> Echo's here. laying over there in the corner. It's like he's yeah. got a so what what is this uh, composition that you're doing, John? I mean, obviously we can't see it because it's all in white. Oh so. Hey, Jack, Jack, be careful, baby. Okay, okay. Um, um, well, it, it, it's it's a portrait, and that's that's one thing I want to do in, in technique of the week is show how to how to how to how to get, how to do a portrait and make it. Um, um, to keep to keep all of the perspective, like the proportions, right? Because that's that's sort of the hard thing. That's that's what it's what people seem to have the hardest time with, a lot. Hey, Jack. Shh. Um, that's a tale of echo. Um, they seem to have the hardest time though with keeping proportions. Yeah. So. Well, on the on the the chat, um, let's see what we got here. People answering in on what kind of dogs they have. Uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> um, Uncle just said he's got the cutest dog in the world. Mm -hmm. Donna's got a black lab named Charlie, cute. Um, Linda E is not, no dog, she's not home enough, but mutts are good. Uh, and Valeri uh, Valerie's got um, a Pyrenees Tree Walker Coon Hound Husky. The Senji mix wow. and bull mastiff. That is a herd. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, a herd of a dog. and I would imagine the bull mastiff is huge, unless it's like squatty or something. I don't oh, know. oh, is it is that a mix or is that a bunch of dogs? 
I was that was that one dog or like that has all that in it or is I, it? Uh, well, maybe she'll chime in and let us know. Oh wow! Because that would be a lot of dogs. That is a lot of dogs. Wow, that's cool. And Sue has a a schnoodle mutt. Hmm. Cute. Oh, schnoodle. What's it? What's okay? That's a, a oh, oh, a, a schnauzer and a poodle. Where? I guess yeah. That's cool. Does that say schnoodle? <laughs> you know what? I love dogs, but I have to say when 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 it comes to Walt Walt, Walt Disney, they kind of freak me out a little bit. Why? Well, because because of Goofy and Pluto. Well, yeah, the, uh, the, the fact that one's a pet and one's like normal. Yeah, yeah, one's like a walking, talking, like wears clothes, talks. Yeah. You know, where Pluto is just a naked well, dog. Well, I mean, Disney's got all sorts of things. I mean, you know, Donald Duck doesn't wear pants, so yeah, yeah, that's an but, issue. Yeah, but there's like... We're going to dive into this. <laughs> yeah, but there's not... <laughs> <laughs> We're really going to talk about it. But, but there's not like a main character duck that's just like a duck that's just a normal duck oh. that... Have y'all seen Joe's no, dog? Jackson, go in the other way, please. No. Have y'all seen Joe's dog? I don't think no. so. No. Oh, gosh, he sent me a couple of pictures of him with the dog, and I don't know who's a kid or really. Really? <laughs> 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 I told him, I said, you have to look so goofy in the picture, Joe. <laughs> They're so cute, though. They are. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> He's got a sling that he carries him around in. He's got a baby. Wow, really? He's got baby that is so Paris Hilton of him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, he hasn't bedazzled it yet, but that's, oh, yet. That, that's coming, I'm sure. Yet. My goodness. How many dogs does he have now? Well, I guess he could I tell think us. They but. only have the two inside, and then they have the one outside, maybe. Oh, my goodness. I guess that's he fun. knows. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the one carrier he has is one of those baby carriers in the legs. He says that he has trouble getting his legs out. <laughs> so now he's got the one that goes off with the shoulder. It reminds me of a newspaper. Well, he just wrote in Hush Deb. <laughs> he's Sorry to run your own job. And he's got four dogs. He's lost, he's lost, he's lost all the street cred. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to talk about your Harley, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really get offset that. <laughs> Good point. So, I hate, I hate that I'm the only one having fun here, but... Well, well tell us what... what oh, I'm just... On. You know, um, I, okay, I'm, I'm putting in some... Basically, what, what I'm doing is... I, I put in the sketch before. So, what I'm going in now is mostly changing parts of the sketch because <laughs> that's what I do now I'm, I'm going in and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm putting in some paint where where I where I'm following the sketch for the most part but the sketch is just an idea of, it's a way of thinking out loud and I want to show that a little bit in, in the technique of the week that we have t this week but um, of, of how to do that because um, the hardest part I think is whenever people like whenever people Say well, well, how do you draw? And I'll tell them, oh, you know, I, I mix mediums in with it. It's this raised lines and all that. The thing that they have the hardest time with is just how does? I mean, it really, really, what the question is more, um, how does anybody draw? Really, like, well, how do you know the proportions are right, or how do you know? And um, and it comes through practice, really. Um, just you know, just doing it over and over and over again. I think the big question. I mean, I, I I get what you're saying with like the how does anybody draw but I mean you know a lot of the t a lot of the curiosity is the fact that you can't see and you can draw the proportions correctly I mean it's oh, one yeah. thing to just oh, sketch over and over erase sketch over and over and erase yeah. until you see it correctly but well I yeah, mean, but, but the questions are I mean they're more like you know it's just like well how do you know, how do you get the proportions right how do you do you know I'm like well you just I mean because this is it's a, the way I draw is exactly the same way like I'll explain, well, the way I draw is exactly the same way anybody else would draw. Yeah. I'm just using my hands instead of my eyes to check where I am because you basically just use your eyes to know where, where you are and where, where you've been. And if you can feel where you are and where you've been, and if you use your sense of touch for everything, like how to eat, how to how to cook, like I cook dinner every night, um, which is a, way harder than painting because you can cut yourself and burn yourself in the kitchen and you never do that painting. Yeah. So, I mean, there's things that you do with your sense of touch that's harder, but... um. Um, so, so with this, I mean, it's the exact same thing. You're, but the way the way that you understand proportion is that you um, you you do it a lot and you practice. And 
Um, and it's really not that hard. Now, and I, I want to show some um, tri tricks, a trick when we get to technique of the week, cool. to be able to get the proportion where um, it gives you kind of a leg up. You know, where you know if you're going to draw a dog's head, if you're going to do the portrait, how do you know that the eyes are in the right spot, that it's the right part, for, with distance away from the mouth, and all that? So there's little things you can do just to make that a little bit easier. So, so I I've noticed. I always think it's really cool when artists are able to capture like the uh, the wetness of the nose. Like, how do you do? You can I mean, is that? Can yeah. you explain how like artists yeah. might do that? Oh, that's a really good question. By the way, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the reason the nose is wet. Does everybody know that? They sweat out their nose. Yeah, but 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 I mean, but they could do it somewhere else. You know why it's on the nose? You know why it's wet? Why? It helps with scent. Um, the really? collection of um, scents and smells because kind of sticks to the oh, that a little bit. Interesting. And, um, mm. and, and and they do it on the pads of their feet too, but that you know that 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 leaves their scent. So the whole reason for them sweating is really either getting or leaving scent, which oh, is that's fascinating. Anyway, so you're but, saying I should lick my nose? Absolutely. <laughs> Be doing that right now. <laughs> Let somebody else do it. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. Um. So um. Whenever, whenever you go in and you're, you're doing a, a drawing like this, um, it's a good idea to keep in mind of, where, of areas that you want to have highlights and, and, and low lights. So in a low light, it's just a dark area. So right now I'm putting in all the low lights, but I'm, I'm keeping in mind of the highlights. That's why um, like all, the, all these lighter areas that I have in here, like, um, so like in here I'm going to have some grooves on the, on the tongue, some not grooves, but, but texture. It's not, it's not like a Ruffles potato chip or anything, but it's, it's got ridges. Um, but just areas, so you know this, that this area is going to be lighter, this area right here on the nose is going to be lighter. So it's going to change whenever, whenever I put the color down. But, um, but, that's, but that's okay. See, and, and then when I'm, when I'm going here, I'm leaving little spots of canvas to go through. Now, this isn't going to be white, these little holes that I'm leaving. It's just I know that I'm going to have other colors going through here, so I don't want it to be a solid black sort of line yet. So well, I should say on the chat that people were questioning whether or not it was really a dog <laughs> ah. at first, but now they now they see it. But um, Uncle said it look, looked like the left side of Waylon's face at first. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> it does. As opposed to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where there you go. Does. So, yeah. So, um, and I'll and I'll show because when, whenever I made the sketch, I, I I use these techniques that I'll show in, in there. And right now, since I've already kind of made a sketch, I'm just going in. And I'm putting color where where I think the color should go, and I'm going a little slower because I'm I'm wondering about some spots where I was, I'm putting in some black. And I'm thinking like, I don't know, you know, maybe I want it shaped a little differently. Maybe I don't. It's hard. To, it's hard. To, you know, it's hard to say because um, one one of the things that uh, I've never done a painting where I haven't gone in and changed something. Now I see what you're working on. Oh, okay. So um, <coughs> Ian Jackson just wrote in and said and said um, he uses uh, he uses a structure line system with point in key places to get good proportion on his face paintings. So. Ah. Hey, hey. Which is cool. That's a, that's really interesting. I, I Let me ask this. Is it like portrait, you're painting a face, or are you actually painting on faces? I'm assuming it's painting. Yeah, it's going to No, I'm, I'm, asking, I'm asking him. Oh. I'm asking him. So. actually <laughs> <laughs> a dog. It's a dog, man. So. <laughs> no, I'm painting a dog. <laughs> I don't know how to answer. It's a cute dog. And if so, like what, you know. What's the you know medium you use and Ian chime in? I'm curious. Yeah, it'd be cool to know. Very very cute. And I'm curious as to whether Ian is vision impaired. Oh. Just curious about Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> oh. It's, it's warm in here. We have to turn off the air and everything, and we're in Denton, Texas, guys, and oh. it's not, you know, it's not that hot right now. Like, I mean, it's over the heat of the summer, the worst part, but 
But we had a flood earlier, and it's made it really humid. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like constantly almost about to rain. Uh, well, today the bottom fell out. Did you? Were you around? No. Really? Well, I mean, it rained. I oh. mean, it seemed like it sprinkled over here. It didn't, like, it didn't. Yeah, I was over by Crocker on University, and it just Ooh. flooded. Flooded. Crazy. Hmm. So what? So, what colors are you thinking about using? Or like, what's? Do you have music playing in your head? Um. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't have the music in my head right now because this is sort of an, a, an analytical kind of thing, where I'm going in for the the shape more. And um, so, but that's such a really good question. So. And I, I just decided to change something. So sorry, I'm a little, a little quiet because I, I was just like, you know, I think, I think I'm going to change this a little bit. Um, what, did, what, what did you have it beforehand? I was going to keep it? this a lot lighter, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken it instead. Oh, wow, it's really coming together. I've been watching. <laughs> 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 oh, what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, my goodness, you're painting? <laughs> I know you can do that, John. Oh, my God. <laughs> what did you start that? How neat. <laughs> I'm too hard to do that. <laughs> so. I think you said in your book I taught you everything. You know? <laughs> I'm sure. Did I? Did I? Um, so I'm, I'm going to go in there right now. That, that kind of messed his nose up a little bit, her nose up. But um, that's okay. I'm going to fix it later because um, I'm going I'm to change cool. something. But I'm going to go up here. Um, <clears throat> That's one of the things, I mean, like, you know, um, do, doing a painting like this, and this painting is actually going to go to um, a museum in a couple of weeks, I think. Um, oh, so yeah. I better be good. I better, I better get it to care. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, better, what museum would this be? Um, it's the McNay, the McNay um, Museum in San Antonio. McNay, and that is that got anything to do with your scholarship? No, no. Um, that was McNay. That was McNay. Yeah, McNair, yeah but, but good, good, good thought though. Well, I have to get a, give a shout out to um, Sue Clark. She she mentioned everybody in the chat. Hit the thumbs up, which then they hey, did. Sue. They went up. Thank you. Um, yeah, and Ian cool. chimed in, and it's it's paper portrait. So mm -hmm. he uses mainly watercolor and graphite. Um, Sketching, oh, and then cool. he and he gave a uh, suggestion suggestion to look up I A Jack X seventy one. So that's I A J A C K X seventy one. So I get um, that might be his uh, website. Yeah, YouTube um, channel or something. But yeah, for anybody out there, if you have like a YouTube channel or you're you're doing art or anything, share it with us or put comments below and. We would love to, um, you know, share it with everybody and talk on the next show about it, or you know. Yeah, and that's like that. and that's something too. We we want to do an MFA of the week, um, but we're not necessarily doing that every week. We just you know it's it's something we want to do when there's an artist that we, um, you know, I don't know that we really like, and there there's and there's tons of you guys out there. But I mean, if you guys want to send us some images, um, you know that. That way, you know, if we share the the artwork as an MFA, you know, and some and links to your website, links to all of that. That that way, um, and you don't have to have a website. You don't have to be a professional artist or anything like that. But I mean, if you are, that's great. And we, we want to help support that. But if, if you're not, I mean, um, just just links. You know, um, if you want to share your Facebook with people, you know, what it's just whatever it is you want to share, and then we we can put that out. And um, but just want to build the community. We, you know, we want to. Trying to make everybody their artistic best, <laughs> sort of, you know, and what and whatever that means for you, you know, if 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 what you want to do is learn just just learn some color theory, or you know, you just want to practice a little bit, you want to play around with it. Is that starting to look more like a dog? Oh yeah, it looks okay. great. It looks real cool. I'll get over close up. Oh yeah. What do you think, buddy? It looks like a dog. Does it look like Echo? Yeah. I think it actually looks <laughs> better than Echo. Looks <laughs> 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 more like Echo than Echo. Hey, well, I, I would Jackson, say it actually looks a little hey, Jackson, bit. Jackson, can you take that away from the cameras and stuff, baby? If any of that hits a cable, it's gonna knock. It's gonna knock everything over, darling. Okie dokie. I would say Thanks, it, it, baby. it looks even more. I think it's funny how you've painted her over the years, and 
you know, when you, f the first painting, which I, I should have loaded up all the paintings for, to, to go through them and show, but the first painting that you painting, um, painted of her, she was like majestic and, you know, silky, regal, yeah. yeah, regal and everything, and, at, and and slowly she's gotten more color and, and, less, and, less, and, less, and, less and more like informal and, and just less, like a, a little calm. bit more pet dog, <laughs> and then this, this, right now, this portrait's looking a little bit more like, I'm good. I'm, I've done my job. Hello. <laughs> kind of. I'm kind of chilling. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, that's that's cool. That's cool because, you know, this 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 is um, Echo's last year of service. Um, she she's retiring after this last year, so this is probably the last painting that I'll ever make of her while she's actually working. You know, she's an act, actual working guide dog, and like I see, she's an award-winning guide dog. I mean, she is just incredible. I mean, even even amongst other other guide dogs, she's special. It hasn't gone to her head. <laughs> she's still the same old dog. But I want to I want I want to share something with you guys here in a minute. And I want to. Um, whenever whenever this and this is off the topic of dogs, so so please so please bear bear with me. But I had a wonderful thing happen this week. I know I said I had the kidney problems and stuff, but to combat that, there's something that really really was awesome. Whenever I was a kid, Kool Aid used used to make oh. a, uh, <laughs> the, the Kool -Aid. root beer Kool Aid. Yes, oh, they used to, oh my god, they used to make root. They they haven't brought it back, um, oh. and they discontinued <laughs> it. And, I've heard for the last yeah you know, for the last for this uh, is since, a thing. Yeah. This is a thing. Since since in the nineteen seventies, you could go and buy a thing called root beer Kool Aid. It was a mix, and you mix it up, and it you know it's, it's like, so it's like a root beer drink, and it was awesome. It was so good. Um, and then there, 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 there was like an urban legend or something that there, there was like that there was something mixed in that was Beer, maybe? poisonous or something and a Kool Aid and they and they discontinued one of the flavors and about that time root beer went away and it, there's nothing with that I mean it, would, it, it was just an urban legend you know like I don't know so it, it, it had nothing the reason it went away is because nobody drank it nobody liked the stuff I well, guess well I mean I uh, uh. Are, uh, <laughs> But ever since then, ever since the 1970s, you know, the um, 80s, 90s on. So you loved this as a kid. Oh, man. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, it is the flavor of the 1970s. The if two you, times we can get it before it became extinct. So let me show you. So let me show you this. What I have here. Oh, my God. Don't tell me. What is it's that a glass like? of water. I put half a teaspoon of sugar in there. If that's all Did you need. Did you make this up? No, no. You can buy this. It isn't. It isn't put out by Kool Aid, yeah. Kool -Aid. but it's it's a root beer mix powder. Oh. Just like you that. have to buy it on Amazon, right? Is it sugar free? Yeah, it's sugar free. How did you find it? I um I, I went on the internet webs and and because I, I was thinking, I thought, oh, you know, you know, if there's one thing I could get back from the 1970s when I was a kid, it would be a Kool Aid drink, a root root beer. Okay, so... But here's the thing. <laughs> Ever since this... Hey, Jack. Shh, baby. Ever since then, I've been drinking tons of water. And look how healthy this is. I mean, yeah. just look at that. Look at how it is. <laughs> that, I mean, if nothing says health like a big black glass of water. <laughs> how long have you well, been drinking that this week? Um, All week. Well, then there you go. No, no, no. I started drinking after my kidneys started feeling bad. Because mm -hmm. I would need to drink more water. Here, do you want to try it? <laughs> you should cut over. You should cut over. Yeah, you told me you had a drink to try. I thought it didn't. I thought it involved alcohol. Well, and there's no alcohol, so why? I, I mean, that's you know. Oh. Why even try? <laughs> Just try that. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me let me have a sip of this. Tastes like root beer. Yeah, it, and your second drink is better than your first because the first one you're not really sure what to think. If you I mean, a scoop of ice cream there to be hot. Oh, I don't know that. I don't know. Uh, it's it's so good. Oh. Okay, I. This, my only Disco. problem with it, my yeah. only Jackson, my Amy, only problem with it is stop, that please, it okay? tastes like flat soda. It tastes like disco. Ugh, that's kind of an aftertaste, doesn't it? Well, oh. for, okay, part of it is I've tasted this before with no sugar, Jackson, baby. and oh. it part of it is it ta it has that sort of like chemical. Jack, you know, feel like the, the chemical tastes like it's diet soda or whatever, mm. and yes. and I don't like that. And so John added a teaspoon of it, and, of the sugar, and then it tasted okay. But now it's just like flat Coke. Yeah. So I don't get it. I don't get what his obsession is with it, but apparently it reminds him of his childhood. So. <laughs> but I'm glad I was a child too at the time. <laughs> 
Is that why you guys stalked it? <laughs> yeah, <yes. laughs> so. Man. Brings back well, memories, huh? Oh my goodness. It tastes like disco. It tastes like <laughs> a neighbor jacket. It tastes like a lava lamp. If you were drinking yes. that in a disco, then yeah, it just uh, kind of, it, it, now, now my, my wine is oh, yeah. tainted. It, it oh, have tainted or time. improved. No. John, no. This is the era of the pet rock. No, I just got to VCR was invented in the No, 70s. I got to clear the palate. No. We mm. need to discuss this off camera later. <laughs> <laughs> How much of this you're drinking? <laughs> um, I, I'm, not, I'm not drinking very much. I, Ooh, it's got an appetite. Yeah, it does. Can only be chased by rum. Ugh, for sure. It's uh. That's the only way it would be saved is maybe if you put some rum in that or. Uh, oh yeah. my goodness. Some carbonated soda. No, you don't. You don't. It doesn't need a thing. It doesn't <laughs> need. A, it's just. It's perfect the way it is. Unadulterated. I mean, it's, it's it's like Billy Jack in a glass, guys. Oh gosh. And everybody wants to drink him up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, man, there you go. It's like Burt Reynolds with an extra big stash. <laughs> it's just nice. <laughs> am I selling it? Am I selling it? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm, you guys are a hard crowd. Well. So are you going to put any, like, glazes on this thing, or are you going, like, full opaque with um, the... Oh, um, yeah, yeah, there's going to be some glazes. And, um, um, you know, you asked, you asked earlier how, how I was going to put the color in, because I'm making so much black. And I am. I, I'm gonna use um. I, I'm gonna use some opaque paints, so that um. So that I can actually put the color on the black. And what what that'll do using um, opaque paint, which opaque of course just means the light doesn't go through it as easily, as a translucent. So it'll make it where it'll um. The light will still get through there a little bit. Like if you put an opaque paint on the white canvas and you put the same paint on the black the the black paint, they'll look a little. Yeah, that is really good, John. Oh well, thank you, Mom. So on the on the chat, I I should say that um, uh, I think the consensus was the root beer uh, Kool Aid was probably kind of gross, and you're weird for it. <laughs> oh guys, <laughs> Sue Clark was like, uh, nope, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> nope, and um, uh, old Unc said, yeah, like disco into trash, <laughs> into <laughs> trash, Go into trash. Uh. And Ian chimed in and said, um, uh, remember in the 1980s, he was addicted to Lilt? Do you Lilt? remember that? No, what is that? I don't know. Is that legal? Let us in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, is that, should we talk about that? Um, yeah, what is that? I'm, I'm curious. Lilt. I don't know. Is that like a, is that like a, a special kind of milk sort of thing? M uh, little milk? <laughs> well, Sue just asked the same thing. She said it sounds like a perm solution, which would be hilarious <laughs> and oh very, you know, for the times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I was addicted to 80s music. Still love it. Yeah. It, it is cool. I can, I, can, I can definitely hang with some 80s music all the time. Mm -hmm. 80s all the time. 80s all the time. So... so Okay, so it looks like it's coming together. I mean, it looks that's awesome. It looks really cool. Oh, cool. Well, but I'm done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. a short show. Um, no, but oh, thank you very much for that, by the way. And, but you know what's weird though is that a portrait like this, one of the main things if you're doing a portrait of a, of a human or a dog, um, the eyes are one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, if I left the eyes out and I did that last, it still wouldn't come together until you did the eyes. But it, it's kind of a curious fact about dogs, which I love. Dogs are the only other animal, other than um, other other primates, and just a few other primates, um, where it's the only other animal that will actually look a human in the eyes. Oh yeah, I read that somewhere. Or oh, maybe tell me about it. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's weird. Where I get all my useless information. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love factoids, but it's the only other animal that will, will look at it and other it will look at a human in the eyes, like for information. And they put probes on dogs, like you know EEG things, and they've they've and they've um, actually detected emotions and things. And when they're yeah. dreaming, it's, you know they 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 actually enter REM sleep and. I know if you have a pet dog, most people kind of believe in this, and they believe that dogs have feelings and things, but... Um, well, I read somewhere that when a dog looks tilts their head and looks at you, like when you're talking to them, that, it, that they're doing that so that they can put your, your face in better um, perspective to try to read your facial structures because uh -huh. they're confused. <laughs> like they're thinking, oh, please shut up. Give me a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Where's <Okay>. your treat? <laughs> 
I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, but it, but it's interesting, though. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's so crazy in that, and they can actually identify with emotions. So, hey, Jack, Jack, please, can you please not do that, baby, over there? You're, you're about to hit the things. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Jack, hey, darling. Seriously, please, please don't play there, darling, okay? Okay. Last time, baby. Thank, thank you. <laughs> wants to be part of the show. Well, he doesn't really want to be on the show. He just wants to be right next to the show. <laughs> be welcome to be on the show, buddy. Just don't pile. Hey, Jackson, please, please move that away, baby. Honestly. No, no, you're piling them up bigger, baby. I can hear you. No, I'm trying to move them to a different Okay, cool. That'll work better. Thanks, darling. Well, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Hey, what time is it, by the way? It is 7.43. Oh. Well, um... I need to let this dry a little bit because I, I can't start adding any color or fixing this up until it dries a little. Um, do, should we do the art news or should we do a technique of the week? Um, either way. Mm, ow. <laughs> no, I, I hit my thumb on something this week. Like I really bent it or didn't oh, mash it or nice. something. Everyone's polish. Everyone's polish bends that way and it goes like, ooh. Yeah, I'll let you do it. I don't know what I do half the time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> tell, you, tell you the truth. Um, well. Oh, uh, Sue Clark asked. Well, maybe she's talking to us. Um, uh, do you use a hair dryer when you paint? Um, he usually does his hair before. So. Yeah, I, I usually. <laughs> I, 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 um, I actually have a heat gun that that I use. So it's a, it's an industrial heat gun, and it gets really hot. But um, but it, but it does it really quickly, and it's nice because you you can. You can actually get a, get a crackle effect with some paints and things, um, and there's some like resin paints that I've used where I've used ice and the heat gun. So, um, what do you what what do you want to do? Technique of the week or yeah 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 I'll or do, I'll do a technique. You want to do technique of the week? Okay. Well, let's do news. Okay. All right, let's do this. Can I sit there? All right. We're trying to do this a little differently, so. You want me to paint? Sure. You want to paint for a bit? This should be interesting. <laughs> All right. So we're official. We're doing this. This is happening. Yeah, I get to sit down for this part. I like it. <laughs> I'm getting official. I have a jacket. They're studious. I have really foggy glasses. Actually, <laughs> you won't be able to read. Yeah, I don't. They're, they're, anyway, okay. Can I give you this? All right. All right, so it is August 26th, National Dog Day. This is true. Full, full on celebrating. So I thought what we could talk about was um, some fa famous dog artists. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So, some artists that have really celebrated dogs. Um, so, you want to start? Yeah. All right. This first artist, his name is Ron Burns. This piece that you guys are looking at now is called A Dog Walks Into a Bar. So, oh, really? Yes. This in it, So, this piece is uh, super colorful it's, it, it, and super cute and, and all of that. And, and this, uh, Ron Burns, he... He started painting about 25, or no, what was it, 20 years ago because he was working in the corporate world and marketing and design and he, it was too stressful and he wanted to get out of it. So, um, you know, took, I guess, took some time off and decided that he was going to paint um, his dog uh -huh. that, and, and he wanted to be inspired. So he was really looking in, you know, in the eyes of his dog. Um, his dog's name is Rufus. He was looking in the eyes of his dog oh. Rufus for inspiration, Rufus. and uh, painted him. And I, you know, his style is super cool. It's like really bold colors and all oh, of that. Oh, like that. Man. And um, and he people were wanting to buy him, but his wife wouldn't part with him. So mm -hmm. he decided he would just go over to shelters and paint all the different dogs there and everything. So oh, cool. Um, so in a lot of his shows, we'll have a. Uh, the <clears throat> proceeds will go to the, the shelters. and a, Then he also does, which if you want to show this next one, he also does sculpture. And this is, I love this. I love this. It's basically one of his paintings, but in sculpture form. So, um, you know, the head is kind of bigger than his body. And it's got just as, you know, just all the colors that the painting would. So it's not realistic colors. It's like a red ear with like, it's almost kind of like one of your paintings where 
Um, really? You know, so it's like it, yellow and blues make up the face, and, and, you know, but on the sculpture, he's sitting on a little couch, and he's, like, panting and looking up and super cute, so. Wow, so the heads are bigger than the bodies? Well, from that angle, that, that photograph, it kind of looked like that, but, um, oh. yeah, super cute. I, it's adorable. Oh. And that's Ron Burt's. So, is it, is it primary colors? N no, I mean, it's all different colors. Uh, it's just all colors. It's not like, it's, very, it's very not real. Though. Yeah, very bright, not realistic. So, really cute. Uh, the next artist, which I'm sure everybody out there has probably seen this person, uh, his work. Uh, this is William Wegman. He is the uh, photographer that paint, that um, that takes pictures of Weimariners. Oh, cool. So this guy is super popular. You've seen his stuff all over the place, like commercials, everything. Um, is that is that what he still does? You know, he does a lot of different stuff. I, I it's funny because I was looking him up, and he his career spans oh, years and years, and in not until 1982 did he actually uh, decide to kind of he, he you know be inspired by the the dog he had at the time who uh, was named Man Ray. So that oh, really? kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, an artist, yeah. And, and so that kind of sparked um, just doing a whole series of, him, of, of his dog and, and all of that. And then um, once Man Ray passed away in, uh, let's see, it was 19, well, when, after Man Ray passed away, he didn't get another dog for a number of years and then uh, decided to start it up again with, and, and that dog was Fay Ray that oh. he got. And since then, Fay Ray was female, and so since then um, he's been photographing all the litters that have come come after wow. Fay Ray. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was interesting. He had uh, I, if you do any research on him, it's not just these cool, you know, beautiful uh, mm -hmm. photographs. It's actually really interesting videos. There's some that he did where it was uh, uh, where he's talking to his dog, like you you spelt this or you did this or, or whatever like like almost kind of I don't know performing a lesson for a kid and the dog is looking at him like really like do tilting the head like really kind of going what is up with you why are you <laughs> anyway there are funny videos but he has an extensive career he's also done some interesting stuff with um oh Sesame Street and um all sorts of different things so he, cool. he he's not just no he I mean he, he does way more than just the photographs so that's William Wegman. And then uh, the last artist I was going to mention was, is uh, George Rodrigue. Was, oh, yeah, he's yes. the guy that does the blue dogs. He does stuff, the right? blue dogs. He's, um, he's there, man, in, in Louisiana. He is, mm -hmm. he is. Actually, you know, I did a show in a museum. That right, whenever I, my show ended, they, he came in and did that. Yeah, Although yeah. I think he was dead then. So oh, yeah, it yeah. Wasn't really he died him. in 2013, so. Well, no, he might have been alive. I don't know when I did that show. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyway, so the uh, one that's on the screen. As you can screen, see, I'm trying to make this about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the painting that's on the screen that everybody can see is called Blue Dogs and Cajuns on the River. So, um, and if you don't know the guy's work, basically he paint. I mean, the, he paints other things, but the majority of it that he's popular for are these blue dogs that are just everywhere. And if you go to New Orleans, you can see him everywhere. And you can. He's got galleries just all over the place and not not only in New Orleans he's got some in New York and and just yeah. you know different things um, he's really known I mean they, even the gallery are called the it's called the, the blue dog ga gallery I think yeah and, like, he is very blue dogs yeah yeah people love his stuff so you know one, one, one thing that I heard about him though is like his studio whenever he was alive obviously but um, his studio was open so so if you if you came into it you could walk around there's couches you can hang out while he's painting it just seemed like a very nice sort of guy that you'd want to hang out yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, where, where you hear about the pre pretentious artists that, you know, like, you know, yeah. are just everything, get away from me, I, I don't know. But he sound like the opposite. You know, yeah. Well, and, and, and what's funny about it is, I, is the blue dog is um, uh, credited with transforming the image of the original Cajun werewolf dog, the loop guru. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh. And I'm sure it's like in French or something. Mm. But, um, uh, that, you know, changed it from the, the Cajun werewolf to this sort of blue dog icon. So, oh, that's cool. um, anyway, that's pretty interesting. So, oh, okay. And then the last thing that I, I wanted to, to mention, which is a video that I wanted to show to everybody 
is this just happened. It's an art exhibit for dogs that encourages owners to play with their pups. So um, mm. the oh, at the exhibit. Uh, well, I mean, okay, it's an organization that it's like hashtag play more initiative, and it, it <laughs> it's the more than insurance company commissioned. Uh, a British designer, Dominic Wilcox, to create a contemporary art exhibit for dogs. Mm. So, for dogs? Yeah, it's for dogs, and the whole idea of it is to encourage owners oh. to play with their animals. So, I, I wanted you to, to roll the film, because mm. this is cool. Um, I think that if we could. How do, how do, I, have, I have the film skills of a 8th um, grade. <laughs> PE teacher. I'm, nothing against PE teachers, but I don't know. That's <laughs> Is that I it? have no. a really great job. Oh. I <laughs> Here. Um, so, sorry, guys. This isn't it. You know what? It, it must have kept going, and then it kept it kept flipping the the thing. Okay. Um, so, so if you want to talk for a bit, <laughs> okay. So in this in this exhibit, basically they've got um, it's. Uh, I, I've looked at the video and it's pretty much like they've set up a playground for dogs. Oh really? And um, it, it it they can run around. I mean, there's there's art on the walls and stuff, but part of the exhibit is you know a giant food bowl that's got uh, different. It, it's got ball like huge balls in it like a ball pit that's all scented like dog food and they can jump through it and oh, everything cool. and then they've got um this one like giant green area where it's a, it's all just a series of fountains going from one uh, dog bowl to the next so the dogs can run around and they can drink the water and stuff um so oh, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> you know if anybody ever said you know the art was going to the dogs, they would probably okay. yeah, here, here we go. accurate. So anyway, this is sorry. the video. So sorry guys, it um it must have started when we were talking. So you know, I, you know, I, you know the YouTubes. Dominic Wilcox and I'm an artist and designer and so I've been curious, commissioned by more than what, what to create a series of interactive it's all it's all wooden artworks. floors oh, oh yes. Yes. Um, some of these creations include what we've called cruising cage oh, which is an open car window simulator dinner time dreams an oversized so 10 foot awesome. dog really? filled to the oh, brim with labels made to look like dog food and watery wonder Water I was thinking that maybe magically that jumps from dog that? ball to dog ball no. to really get the dogs <laughs> excited. So anyway, that that was a quick. I mean, the video is a little bit longer, but that was a quick kind of look at it. It um, basically is just a playground for dogs that has art around it, and the whole point of this is to encourage playing with your dog, not to just, you know. Put them in the backyard. Man, that's awesome. So <laughs> anyway, like mom, <laughs> and, and mom and, and mom said that there was part of the video where um, they were in a car. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. thinking like, what if you if you could be a dog breed, what dog breed would you want to be? Hmm. And and the, uh, the only thing I could come up with is that I would I just want to be a dog that can hang its head out of a car. Like when I go to sleep at night, I have a fan in my face. If I could be a car, well, that is true. And the dream would be if I could be have my own back over here. Um, Hold on one second. I need, on to, the, uh, I need to take a little break and have some more root beer drink. <laughs> well, on the chat, <laughs> um, uh, Josh, uh, Rob has joined ah, us, and, he's, and he said he would like to chase cars. Oh. That would be dangerous, but fun. Um, be cool. And Wendell said his dogs would love that. Oh, hey, Wendell. What's up, Wendell? Hey, Wendell. Oh, speaking of blue dogs and Wendell and uh, man, um, Wendell lives in, in the Big Easy. Lives in yes, New actually, Orleans. Wendell probably, I mean, Wendell's been all sorts of exposed to the blue dog guy, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I bet so. So. Man, oh, man. Well, let me see. I'm going to move this over here for a moment. What, what I'm going to do is, um, what, what I put, let me see. I, I, I keep this in order so that it's, it's a little blue. Here we go. Um. 
So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm getting so excited. I get to put color on it. Uh, I'm gonna put some color on this, and I'm gonna go over some of the black areas. So do you have a method to like? You're gonna use the darker of all your colors to like. I mean, is it part of like adding depth to it or? Well, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it'll it'll add add depth and it'll also add some character and some emotion to it. But what I'm adding right now is a cerulean blue. Um, so it's a it's a it's a light sort of blue. Um, I love it. I'm a big fan of cerulean blue. What about a red handkerchief around his neck? <laughs> you know, she she never has had that. Not well, the star. That's true. The and well, in the guide dog school, or you know, that's kind of the downfall of her being so structured. Is yeah. you know, she can't. You know, we can't even dress her up for you can't like. Bedazzle for, her. I can't bedazzle yeah. her. I can't like. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> cosplay with her. I can't do any of that. Mm. So. Well, well, she's about to retire. Like, oh, I know. What kind of play? Like you know, like dress up like superheroes. Like she oh, can. Oh, cosplay. Support <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, we can do that. But yes, when she retires, <laughs> she officially becomes. Poor Echo. <laughs> <laughs> she officially becomes my sidekick. <laughs> well, here, let me here, let me show you this really quick. If, we, if I you could show yeah. the um, like here when it, where, where I'm putting the the color, um, because of the black back background, it'll make the blue a little darker. Now, if I put the blue on top of the blue, it'll it'll continually get lighter and lighter. Now, up here by the ear, um, mm -hmm. there's a little white spot, so that's probably going to be a little bit darker. I mean, a little lighter than than like the the blue right next to it. So I just wanted to show that so you can get an idea of if you're doing a painting, if you leave some light spots, you'll, you'll get more of an undulation where, um, just in a natural sort of way, so that you, know, you can have the lighter, the darker. Mm -hmm. So you can go in and you can think, oh, where, what did I do with my paint? Oh, there it is. <laughs> 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 I set it down, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> like, I was here a minute ago. <laughs> um, so, so you can, st you know, so you, you can have some lighter and some darker in, in there and not even have to mix your paint. It's just by how, how, how you've prepped the canvas beforehand. So there. Now. Yeah, now, now. So Wendell said, beautiful, look at those soulful eyes. Uh, are you talking about me, Wendell? I was to say, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can even see him through, through the glasses. You're amazing. <laughs> like, Wendell, Joe, Wendell, incredible. John and I think alike. Yeah, really. Right. It's all me, me, me. I know, I thought it was nice in the, how in the art news I tried to pull it back to me. <laughs> Widow. <laughs> you do. <laughs> You know. Oh, this is not necessarily art, but I guess it could be. But I heard on the news the other day where they've come out with a selfie stick for an iPad. Oh gosh, really? Well, you, can take, you know how you can take a picture with your iPad? With so the selfie little, stick is now yes, like holds something huge? Will hold, will hold an iPad. Oh my gosh, an iPad that just sounds like a stick. way to break your iPad. That's what they yeah. said. Yeah, Imagine yeah, people maybe. in crowds. It's going to be heavy. You're like, like oh, black oh, people oh, that yes. accidentally break your iPad. Hurry, 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 hurry. Get in the bag, get in the bag. Yeah, <laughs> so funny. Wow. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Hopefully it has an anti-shake feature built in. Well, I know there's a Kickstarter that's that's got a one of those anti, like you... What do you what do you call that? Where it's uh, oh I forget the name of it, but but it, it stabilizer. Yeah, a stabilizer. You can put it in this little device and it'll stabilize your your phone if you're taking video. It's pretty awesome. Oh really? That's, That's kind of cool. Neat. It's cool. Over. Wow. No selfie stick, but it's cool. Things are just getting I fancier and fancier. I don't really get the selfie stick thing. Maybe maybe yeah. maybe some people out there can explain if you're oh, a, a selfie. You do? Oh yeah. What? How? Well, what do you know about it? Well, you love. Having pictures taken of you. Well, no, no, no. It's not, it's not that, but no. But I mean, if um, um, yes. I, I know, I know, I know. Whenever we're traveling, if we're trying to do a video or something, I usually use a selfie stick because you can get it out of, away from yourself. Yeah, that's bit. true. That oh, I see why that's true. Yeah. See, I understand Cause, that. Cause like, you just have your arm, and which is fine, but it's just that you always have that weird angle. And so if, that if it's us two, it's a, it's really easy to do two people just by doing that right. instead of like. And the iPad might be good for you, so it is art news. It might. And just yeah. think, you know, but if you do it a lot, you have like one big arm. You know, one's real muscular from doing the selfie stick on the iPad. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So make sure if you get one of those, you use both arms. That, that would be easy. I want Popeye arm. Yeah. <laughs> Olive oil. So uh, Valerie asked, what video camera do we use? We, um. Which actually is. is a good question because then you you should talk about like what webcam is on you versus what you do for like 
the damn fast that you that you put on Facebook and all of that. Yeah, right. We're, we're right above us. Um, we have a C920 um, webcam, and it's it's a it's a um, it's just a webcam you get on Amazon. Um, it, it, it'll do HD quality. Um, all of our webcams though are about half the quality of what they could be because our computer just can't handle it. Like we, like our computer is, is operating at 97 to 105 percent, which breaks physics because you can't really go over 100. But yet it, you know, it could clock in at 109. Um, but um, it, so it's just webcams, and the reason we did that is because um, it, it's, they're USB cams, so they plug right in the computer and makes it really easy. And also, if you travel, you don't have to bring extra batteries and things. So the, the computer battery will actually power the webcams. And we also have a C930E, and we have two of those. So we have two of the C920s, two of the C930Es. The neat thing about the C930, they cost a little bit more. All of them aren't that expensive. I mean, they're not, you know, it's not like, we used to be like if you went in, a, like the most you'd buy for us, it's pay for a C930E is 100 bucks really. And um, for the other, it's, you know, it's like 60. And then, um, you know, and you pick them up over time. So it's not like one big, you know, you're having to buy it all at once. Um, the nice thing about the C930E is it has a processor on it that will actually start editing, or not editing, but it'll start processing the video on it, and that it'll send a simplified stream to your computer. And what that means is that you're, the, it uses less resources on your computer. So it sends a better image, but it, it, it takes up less of your computer's processing power. So, so those are really cool. So we have two of those. One, one's on um, Mom and Jackie, and one's on me. And then, um, and the other one we're not using. We're only using three. Um, above us, we have we have a GoPro, and it's a GoPro Hero Hero Four, Hero four yeah. Silver. Yeah. And the difference between a s silver and a black, um, it really isn't that much of a difference. The, the although the like the silver has connectivity, I know, and it has a screen on the back. And um, and the nice thing about the GoPros though is that they they can film up to 4K um, re resolution, which is nice. And they yeah. can do lots of different things. You can put them in the water. Um, we, we've used them all over the place. I guess. Yeah, I love the GoPro. It's it's super fun. So so this whole painting of Echo, like if I don't finish it on the the show tonight, we're we're we're, we're filming it right above here, right right above where you can't see it. <laughs> Look right here where you can't see. <laughs> um, <laughs> then um, right right up there where you can't see, we're filming a um, and with a GoPro going down. Um, and it, so it'll, it'll just show the entire process of Echo being done. And if I don't finish it during the live show, I'm going to keep the camera on and I'll finish it. Um, and, and the entire process of this painting will, will be uploaded to Facebook and YouTube on Monday. Er, 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 every Monday. That you're doing? Yeah, yeah. We did, we did one last week of the, of the Joker painting. Uh -huh. and, um, um, and we had about, I don't know, I think uh, we put it on Facebook, put it on YouTube, put it on different platforms. We had over... 1,100 people see it so far. Yeah, right? Facebook has a little bit more, ha, ha, definitely has more traction, so. I mean, that, that's, so that's, you did get nice that's been good. You got well, nice book figured out. Well, um, we can't with our computer the way it is now. We were going to stream it all. Mm -hmm. So instead of streaming to Facebook Live, which which we want to one of these days, but it's going to need, we're, we're, we're going to have to get a bigger computer. Um, mm -hmm. So until then, we're just going to upload the video to, to Facebook. And, well, um, mm -hmm. well, I, I was going to say, um, so, uh, Valerie on the on the chat, she said she's looking at a Canon 80D. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yes, which I wanted to address that because an an SLR is different, obviously, than than the webcams and the GoPro that we're using. Which um, it just depends on the type of video that you want to do. If you, oh, if you yeah, and it, because this is live. It's the yeah. only it's the only reason we're using the USB. Yeah, is because it's live. Yeah, so if it's got a USB connection and you need like three or four of them because you got different shots, then obviously you want to go with the webcam. I have I have a Canon T3i that I shoot like all the paintings with, and when we're out and about, sometimes I'll shoot video. I honestly, for I mean Valerie, I honestly. Not a fan of shooting video with my SLR because the it something in the mechanism of the camera causes this hiss on the video and it drives me batty. So I don't I don't use that. The GoPro has been phenomenal, which I saw that you mentioned you had one. So I I just shoot video with that, and then if we're doing anything internet based, we use the webcams. Yeah, and 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 um and, and you can use an SLR like like and you can live stream from that Canon too. But to do that, you need a you need an encoder to even get it into the computer really to do a live stream with it, which uh, which can be a little pricey and it's more hardware you have to have. Um, so we we just went with the USB cameras because it's easier, and um, it's way less price. I mean the the, the cost of price because you can get 1080 quality. Whenever we get a better tower, we get a tower that um, 
um, can handle the video will actually have 1080 quality. If we have the cameras ready for it, we just, you know, it, it would, the computer would blow yeah. up. <laughs> John's got dreams of a new computer. Well, I should say, I should say Andy has joined us. Hey, Andy. What up? Hi, Andy. And, but we've, you know, Wendell, I think, went to bed and Sue went to bed. Oh, so. good night, guys. Good night. Um, well, I feel kind of sorry for Andy because, um, um, well, be we've been playing fantasy football for several years, <laughs> and um, I and he's I know he's getting tired of getting beaten all the time. By oh my Andy. gosh, here we go! I'm, I'm so sorry about that, Andy. I, here we I just, go. You know, there's not much I can do about it, you know. I, <laughs> I, I tried to hold I back last year a little. Beat all of you guys last season. I'm just gonna put that out there. Well, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I placed higher. I dominate so much. Didn't see any of my money, <laughs> but it's cool. I, I dominate so much. I thought it'd be nice if I just held back one year to give, yeah. give you guys a little yeah. wiggle room. <laughs> I don't want you guys to quit, so I didn't even fun anymore. Yeah, kidding, so. yeah. But this year, I'm gonna come at it hard. We're we're having issues this year because it, we need to draft quickly, and John and I are out of town for the next two weekends, so we're having issues with that. But we're gonna have to party via via internet or something because we always have we always have like a big draft party. where are y'all going this weekend well tomorrow they'd have the draft tomorrow night at andy's no but not the draft i'm talking about this weekend when you well go. we're going to the rodeo oh. no I'm, I'm talking about next weekend oh we next weekend drive. we're going to corpus for so the, for what show um show? arts alive and, and corpus christi and what's that about um, art. It, it's, 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 it's an art. Yeah, it, it, it's an art. So, oh, oh, guys, let me, let me say really quick about the paintings. I've been adding a lot of color. Um, I've been adding the cerulean blue, and what I'm doing is I'm going around the edges. Um, anywhere that's going to be a little fuzzy, a little flaky, and um, a little fuzzy, a little flaky. Uh, yeah. Echo has dry skin, by the way, so it's, I'm, I need to make it flaky. Um, and I'm adding some some dachshunding purple in there as well. So, so I've got that in there. And really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just making some, some, not really highlights, but some, you know, some areas that are going to be a little bit of a contrast with the black. And what, because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to keep putting in these different areas. Around the areas where the white is, I'm going to put in lighter colors like oranges and yellows and some pinks and things like that and, and make it a little brighter. I'm not going to go too crazy with it because I, I want to keep some of that white. I think the white will make it a little more dramatic. So cool. that's, that's, that's what I'm doing right here. And, um, well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> on the chat, um, Valerie said she's having an issue with the helicopter sound on the GoPro when she's connected to Wi Fi. Do you remember having that issue? Um, I, I, I want to say we, we messed with the sound for quite a bit on the GoPro, but then it? maybe we just got mics. What did we do when it's connected to Wi Fi? So, like, so, like, if it's like, so, like, if, 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 you're, if you're connected to your phone or, or tablet, that sort of thing, like, if it's I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe um, she's in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to get out of the helicopter. <laughs> um, um, yeah, you know, um, I don't remember. I remember there being sound issues. Oh, but I don't know if it was just the case was causing the issues. Yeah, there. You know, a chopping noise like that. I, I want to say, like, also if you're using external ma mic with it, um, it, it, it it can do it. It can cause a, a problem. Um, if it's in a case, it can make it, it can muffle it. So you, you have to get a case that's not a waterproof case, which most of them come with waterproof cases. So, um, well, and, and you want to take that case off because you can't really hear one the, <laughs> anything. We've one, one of the things too is that you might you might try shooting at a lower re resolution, like if you're shooting at 4K or 1080, you might try 720, um, because the chopping may be coming in from the computer as well if the computer can't handle it. Yeah. The the video processor, you know, in it, that's that's a really good question. That's one of the hardest things when it comes to video, is that uh, is audio. You yeah. start getting the audio like um, whenever we set up the audio in here, we had all kinds of problems with chopping and clicking and tapping. And listening. Yeah, it's really a trial and error. I mean, and, and she she mentioned that 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 ADD that she's looking at doesn't isn't supposed to have that hissing. And I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't because they finally worked it out. But it is like. I mean, any audio and video equipment. Unfortunately, you got to read a lot of reviews, you got to read a lot of forums, and then you got to do a lot of trial and error. Yeah, <laughs> it don't. is exhausting sometimes. I'm willing to bet with it with the GoPro though. It's a setting, or it's uh, the computer, like, like what you're putting in. Because I, I know, I know with, with my GoPro, um, I can't do full video at 4K because my computer can't handle it. Mm. It just, like, you won't even read it. It's like oh, there's in there, and then I'll put it on something else, and it'll find it. But if I do it at a lower um, rate. Um, then, then it, it'll handle it just fine. Or, or 
at a certain at a certain frame rate on it. Um, apparently, it won't load the video, but it'll load the audio. And well, so for a long time, I thought it was doing fine because I wasn't seeing the video and I was editing stuff. And there was nothing there. Well, she mm-hmm. said she is using a uh-huh. mic. She is using a mic. She's using a skeleton case. Oh, okay. Um, and then Andy asked if it was the black one because he. I know Andy's got a GoPro and he loves that thing. So you know what? Um, I bet you it's the mic. I have a mic that I use with a GoPro and it does the exact same thing. And I got a different mic and it doesn't do it. Mm. Um, yeah, and there's one of them like it, and it's a little mic that sticks into the side of it um, that has like a little foam ball or you know, well, then you take the foam off. But it's a it's one that sticks into the side and that thing clicks like crazy. And then I got a, um, um, what do you call the kind that cl- clips yourself? A labre? Not a bra. Labre is something you put in your lip. You, you stick it through a hole in your lip and you, yeah. no, um, you know, the kind with the clip that you wear wear here, that thing works great. So it was just, and, and I got an adapter on um, a- Amazon that goes from that little USB connector to um, to, to just a regular three and a half millimeter, like a regular stere- stere- stereo jack. So I, I, that's a lot. So anyway. if it's a mic, what what you can do is you can go on Amazon. You can get an adapter that will convert um, from from the GoPro, the the audio input thing it has, mm-hmm. into a regular headphone type jack. Yeah. And then you can buy any kind of mic. You don't have to buy a GoPro mic. Hmm, fancy. So there, guys. So tell me, you've changed. Uh, you I, did you change colors? Um, well, what are you I did. Um, I'm adding a little bit of orange in. I'm just doing a little bit, and um. So, mm. just a little bit here and there, and um, so, but I'm not going to do too much because I added a lot of dachshund in purple and the cerulean blue around it. Um, are you going to do the background? I mean, like, are, have you thought about the background? I don't know. I might leave it white. I'm wondering. It depends. That's a really good question. Mm-hmm. It depends because I might leave a, quite a bit of white on her face, like put some really bright colors. If I do that, I might leave the background white too. That way it kind of pulls it all out. That'd be cool. Or... I don't know. I'll, I'll see what it's like because I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with the colors all, all there. But I was thinking though, this might be a good time to do technique of the week. So I just put down all Ooh. those thick colors. Is her tongue gonna be? Oh, pink. it's gonna be a little pink with a little orange and a little yellow. Mm-hmm. Probably more of a, of a of a medium golden sort of sort of yellow than anything else. Well, she's been drinking your root beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, to my root beer. All right, so. You want me to do this? Are you doing this? Let's do this. All right, technique of the week. Technique of the week. <laughs> and as always, thanks to Jackson for voicing, <laughs> being the voice of the technique of the week. Well, this this week I wanted to show um, how to, you, well, today is National Dog Day. Awesome. So I just wanted to show how to go about drawing a portrait of a dog, um, which I'm working on at Echo over here, my, my guide dog which is awesome. She's brilliant. And um, so let me show. One of, one of the things you can do is just using proportion. So I've got a special paint that I can feel. My, my hands are a little dirty. I've been working on the portrait for Echo. So, 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 so excuse me if this gets a little crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to draw a circle. Now there, there's really two, two ways to start this. Now I probably should have made this circle a little bit. There, I'm going to do it like this. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. Now there's really two ways you can do this. You can start with a circle, or you can start with the lines. It doesn't really matter. You can, you can do it e- either way. Now with the dog, the dog's got ears. And the ears are, are, are kind of s- circular, but not, you know. It looks like I'm drawing Mickey Mouse here. See, so, so, so you, have, you have sort of an idea of what, of what we're doing there. And then you, you can go about halfway. So really what, 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 what we're doing are thirds. So this is about a third of the way down this whole line. This is about a third of the way down the whole line. And this here is about a third. And this just helps you keep proportions and stuff. So whenever you're doing the, the entire dog. And then here, mm. you, can, you, can, you can put in a circle. Over here you can put in a circle. And then down here, what you're going to do is put in a, another circle. Let me see. And this is kind of wet. So I, I've done this, and I, if when I touch it, I'm, I'm smearing it. So what I, what I did ahead of time was I went ahead and, and made a few. So here's the first thing. So if you're first starting, and also I wanted to be able to go back, and you can't do that. <laughs> if you just do that, you can't, I can't rip the, I can't suck the, the paint back off the table. Mm-hmm. So, th- so this was the first, the first thing. You just make some circles. And then, and then you can you can draw the lines there, 
and that line is a little, a little bit above half. Um, and then you go like a third and a third and a, a third ish. And then, and then when you go in, you take that and you draw your line. So you have your line there, and that's the widest part. So, so whenever you, I made this circle too small for illustration. It doesn't work as well. So you, the line you have there, you just match it, and you go around it. And then this is really where you can start putting in like some, a little bit of flair. Like like you, you can start trying to figure out, see, where 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 you want some things going in. So you're thinking like you know oh, oh where the the snout's going to come in. So the snout's going to come in. It's going to be roughly here. Now, when when I'm drawing this, remember, if you're doing this with a pencil or a pen, a pen, a pen a pencil. You're not going to see all these little light lines. They're just there to help help you keep a bit of a, a um, proportion. Just so you know, you know you have that line there, so you know when you go this side and you go over to this side that they're even. You know that that they're or or if they're not even, like you know if the dog is looking off one way, then you know oh if he's turned a quarter, then you're going to have the, this one go over three quarters of the way. But it just helps you keep everything in, in, in sort of a relationship a little bit. So you, you can see like you're starting to put in some things. So there's there's that. Here's one where we're basically got it there. Let's see. Oh, this one I already added. See, I started adding in where the where the body's going to go. So going from this this one to this side. So we started with a circle, and we started adding a little bit more things, a little bit more, just using proportion. And then you know, as you can see on there, you can start figuring out. Well, it's got to have a back. It's going to have like a he's going to have like a little area because he's turning around. You know, it's got another side to them, so you can just start adding these sort of sort of things in a little bit, and then so you have this, and then all these little lines, like I say, they're just there's pencil lines, and then um, you can start working in more. So if you took this and took that, this is basically that. It's just if you were able to erase the circles and stuff, and be able to put in more of the mm. the different little hashes. So some of this you, you'll keep some of this line, you'll keep some of that line. But it just makes it where you can start fiddling with it and adjusting your drawing. And then from this, you can start painting on it and painting. You just use wisp wispy sort of strokes for the fur. And let me show you this. This is a sketch that I was working on for Echo. And it's the exact same thing. Huh. So this is the painting that I'm working on tonight of Echo. And, but it's the same sort of thing. So like if you were, um, let, me, let me get a different color. And this is a little different because her, her, you know what? Let me get a color that doesn't have black paint on it. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh, clean brush job. So this is is the same idea. So as you can see, you've got like the the circle for for where for where Echo's going to be. The circle. You got the lines going down. About a third, you got a line going. And down here, you've got the white part of the nose, and then you've got the mouth. Of course, her mouth is open, so with that, you just drop it down a little bit. But you can see, though, how it, how it just helps you keep the proportions in their ear. Of course, she's a lab. Now, the different breeds are where it's going to change. Some some dogs have ears that go up. Some dogs have ears that go down. With, with, a, with, a, with a, a lab, it's more like that, and then they have little triangles. So it's just a way of being able to keep a proportion. And after a while, you don't necessarily have to draw these lines every time. You can keep them in your mind. They're very simple. It's really a rule of thirds, rule of thirds. So, um, but for a while though, you know, when, until you get used to it, like if you draw every day, after a while, you just sort of get used to it. And it's an automatic movement. Until that happens, just use a, li a pencil, make a really light line, go down about a third of the way, go down about up about a third of the way of that circle. And that way, you know, when you're working on your dog, you're, you're able to put it right right where it needs to go. So, so basically, let me see. Here goes the first one. This is basically this. So you, but the the so this just helps with the proportions of making sure you don't get a dog with one giant eye or one one tiny ear. Do you use this technique for other paints? Yeah, it's the same. This is the same technique that you'll use for human faces. No, I mean for um, landscape or. No, no. I mean, well, keep things in proportion, or yeah. I mean, you can. It's a little bit different for for right. that. But so this is really for portraits. Okay. So, but so if it's a portrait for a dog or, or a human, mm -hmm. and it's one of the great things, dogs and humans are so similar. You can use some of the same things. Mm -hmm. That's technique of the week, guys. Thank you. Very interesting.
All right, so. So that's just sort of a basic sort of thing. Well, and on the chat, um, Andy chimed in and said, yes, blocking out is crucial. Um, he's a, a long, um, years and years worth of art teaching, so um, yes. And then he gave you props because you can't see and you're still blocking it out superbly. Oh, thanks. So, Hi. Well. Um, and after y'all dissed him about his fantasy football. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. He's been dissing me on the, on, on this. Oh, it's, it's not cool. a diss. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just no, relaying I'm the news. the fact. Yeah, I'm just relaying just the facts, news. Just the facts, man. Just the facts. <laughs> the 2016-2017 so, yeah. fantasy football news. You've also that. been getting lots of comments of, of people that want you to paint Elvis. I wonder oh, about that. Already. That's ironic. I thought today, is he not famous enough for you? What? Yeah. I'm just waiting for him to peak. That's all I'm just waiting for. Him to, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm just seeing what he's going to come out with. Trying to be sided in your. Yeah. I just want to see what he's going to come out with next. I don't really? know. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Yeah. What about that? How come you haven't? I wondered about um, that today. Who asked that? It's a good question. I, uh, oh, and I, I should say, Ian Jackson's leaving. It's 2 a.m. where he is. So that sounds crazy. Oh well. But thanks for joining. Thanks. I don't know. I don't know. Where, thanks for where, hanging as long as you did. Yeah. Man. Where are you watching from? That sounds nuts. Let's see, 2 a.m. England? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What time is it here? Uh, almost, it's 8.30. So, I'm... yeah, you need to paint Elvis is what the crowd is saying. Maybe here. Germany. No. Oh, it could be going that way. I think England's six hours in. Is it? I think. That's what I was saying. I was saying five or six. Yeah. Um, so, and, and somebody else on the chat did ask what you were going to paint next week. You know, um, actually next week is a bad week for painting, guys, I'm afraid to say. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. We're, we're out of town. We're, we're doing, a, light, we're, we're, we're doing a, um, a festival at Corpus Christi, and I do want to try to stream live, I think. I think the festival ends about 6 o'clock, so we may still be at, 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 at 7, I'm not sure. But if we can, um, I thought maybe we could, we could try to stream something while, while we're there and, and try, try to come up with something interesting because we'll be on the, near the ocean, um, Actually, we'll be right there on the ocean in Corpus Christi, Texas, for I'm um, showing our art down there. So um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to paint. Maybe I might do something ocean related, or it may just be kind of crazy because I know we're working there. So, but we'll try to do something. Ah, cool. Um, Ian is in England. Valerie, you just let us know. Okay. And um, uh, Josh Rob said he's from Corpus, and we should definitely hit up a Whataburger while we're there. Which I think is like the hometown of. Oh. Of, oh. So it is. You can hit up one down. I know. <laughs> it is the. Like, oh, it is the there. Texas burger. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Sorry. The official burger of Texas. Oh. So. What a burger should be. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I love Whataburger. Mm. Man. Whataburger. I'm trying to. Oh, Andy said he thinks he's going to take the weekend off and just stay with us guys on the beach. Oh, cool. Which would be epic. That's awesome. And awesome, and I think he's full of baloney. Yeah, I think he's full of baloney, too. We're going to have to we're gonna have to uh, chime in for fantasy uh, on while we're on the beach, so there. Huh. Well, actually, Andy, you don't have to take the week off, or, you know, you just take Friday off. Yeah. Yeah, really, actually. Anyway, so... Oh, and Josh just said Elvis week was last week. He died on August 16th. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you should have died Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, and I, I should have done something with a purple heart, too. I, I, I realized too late that um, my dad's birthday was on August 7th, mm -hmm. and um, and that's also a National pur pur Purple Heart Day. And Dad, and dad, dad got a purple heart with, with the service, and I thought, oh. But one, but one thing that, that I want to do, though, um, for dad and um, I mean, I, I think it's important. I, I don't know. I, I like for, for for Jackson to understand like what what veterans like like what what dad went through and what what Joe went through. Um, I'd, I'd I'd like to get his medals and stuff together, or, or you know, or find another place to get them. It's so hard to get them from the military. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's, yes, it's, it's a rigmarole. So I don't know. I may just re source them out somewhere else. But well, you might ask why he doesn't have them. Oh, well, you know, well, he never went to pick them up, really. Like, like he had them, but it was just sort of like they would be out in the... Do you remember us going through this process years ago? 
uh, having this conversation years ago. <laughs> yes. Well, it was just like you know they 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 you know they have like the it award was, ceremony and it was like it was like oh you can go to that or you can just do whatever you want and you know relax. And he was like well, I'm relaxing. <laughs> so I don't think it was a hard decision at the time. Well, now I mean because. We did some research into this, and, and maybe anybody out there might have like some input. Leave it in the comments. But it's a fiasco. You have to fill out a bunch of paperwork and obviously prove a bunch of stuff, which is understandable. But it's I all mean, in the records. Yeah, I mean, if it's right there in the records. I know. It's just because it's an insane know. amount of paperwork to fill out. So because I remember we looked into this like ten years ago. Because I, I I remember thinking we were going to try this before we were married, but it, you know, paperwork. Yeah, <laughs> it's an really. issue, apparently. Yeah. Well, and it was just—it's just because, like, even though, even though on the on the records it has that this person is is earned this or that, you still, I mean, you yeah, I don't know, but but because they should have have received it back then, you know, and so it's like it's like receiving I, for for the military, I guess it's like receiving a duplicate copy yeah. or something, even though they never received one. Well, um, well, f let me s on the chat really fast. Donna says, "Tell my sweet sis, I said hi, hi Donna." <laughs> <laughs> and um, Amanda Powers said, "Have you talked about how you Thanks, know Donna. you know where to create shadowing?" Do what? Have, <laughs> you, um, have you talked about how you know where to create shadowing? Oh no, no! I sure haven't. Le well, at least I haven't this time. Um, well, except that I, I, I did, I did talk a little bit about um, whenever, whenever you're blocking out the painting, to keep in mind areas that, you're, that you want to have highlights and, and lowlights, and and and, and so, so whenever I was first started to start blocking the painting out, like I know that I want the light coming from a certain direction, you know, coming in from a direction. So over here is going to be darker. So I block this in a lot darker. I put a lot more of the black over here. And then with the colors and stuff, the colors are going to be a lot, a lot darker over here. And to be honest, a lot of my paintings, the the, the shading and stuff is more, I don't know, subliminal. I don't know what I used to say. I mean, like, like I try to keep the tonal quality right. But a lot of times artists will, will use shading to, to give more of a 3D effect. And I, I, I do that a little bit. I'll start this from the art days. And I, I do that a little bit. Um, but mostly I use the, the shading to... I don't, I don't, well, I guess I guess yeah, I did give more of a 3D effect for it, but yeah. Um, but I, I use a lot of colors, so so a lot of times I use shading to for realism. That way, like if you're shading a ball, you know, it looks like it's a real 3D ball. Where I try to use colors more for emotion, so I use the light and the dark and the color to keep the shading right. Yeah. But it's not so much to make it look realistic because there's not pink, orange, blue dogs, but you know, still keep it to make it look a little more 3D. So well, I, I think I just gave a really horrible answer for that. But. Well, I, I should say, um, uh, Valerie, on the metal issue, Valerie said we don't have to go through the military. Um, she said get your dad's DD-214 and then go outside of the military to get the ribbon. Yeah, yeah, we, we have that. Like, we have the list of the, of uh, you know, we, 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 we do have that. And that's, that's what I was thinking, too, because going, going through the military, it was going to take forever. I mean, like, you could do it. It's just, it would take forever and ever. And there's a ton of pa paperwork and... And then I was thinking, well, good grief, I've got a list of the medals, you know, I, I can just go. And I think it'd be interesting, too, because there's some things that he's lost over the years. Like, I think it, um, he was he was part of two, two different units. So I think it'd be uh, the Red Catchers and the Burning Worm. Um, Burning Worm? <laughs> I, think it was like, I think it was 186 and 189. I don't know what it was. So it was just the, it, so it'd be interesting to get the patches from that and to get his stripes and to get um, oh, that's cool. okay. um, some different things and cool. just make a whole, and photos and things. And, um, so, uh. Amanda said, great answer, by the way, to the shadows. Uh, oh. Sam has joined us. What up, Sam? Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. Um, and Uncle said he found a patch for uh, from his old unit on eBay. <laughs> that's oh, wow. awesome. That oh, is wow. so cool. <laughs> how much was it? <laughs> yeah, really. Like how? That's crazy. And it was the it was the person selling it part of your old unit. Who knows? That's oh, that'd be crazy. I know. So let's get these and sell them on eBay. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's interesting. I should also say, just to um, acknowledge it on the chat, that that a couple people are having audio issues where the audio is like three seconds behind the video. Oh. I'm not quite sure what that is or if it's on our end, but hmm. I, we have no way of fixing that mid mid show, unfortunately, right now. So yeah, we just um, start the stream and restart. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully it. Hopefully it catches up with itself or, or 
or you can it'll be fun you know watch the show and <laughs> the audio sorry. separate sorry, sorry yeah. guys that's yeah. yeah it's always an issue something is always an issue so and it, oh, oh uncle said he it looked new and he got it for bailey so. oh that's nice yeah and that's and that's really the big thing is that you get it for dad but to get it to get it for for jackson and that's that's something I, I was thinking, Joe. Like, I mean, Bailey, you know, and Jackson. These kids that are coming up, you know. I mean, it's it's something tan tangible that that they can have. I mean, I mean, yeah. I should say Andy offered to like uh, contact him when if we get them, how to display them. Oh, cool! Because he's an incredible woodworker and all that jazz. Oh, wow! So, cool. Yeah. That oh, that's awesome. awesome. Thanks so much, Andy. Man, that's it. All, it you saying something like that almost makes me want to take take it easy on you this year. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, almost. <laughs> Why do you think he offered? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Run scared. laughs> so. Uh. Oh, man. So, so you kind of see where, where I'm headed on this thing. I'm almost at the point where I'm, where I'm almost at the point where I need to stop because um, I've got so much wet color all over the place that it's going to start getting a little... A little moist and the colors are going to start running together that's one thing you know if you want to if you want to keep a bright painting you can't over mix your colors too much or they'll start getting dingy and and, um, and dull um, so it's nice like if you want to, it's nice to be able to do layers you know the more layers you do you, you can keep the colors bright and and not and not as muddied so mm -hmm. <laughs> oops yeah. yeah so I think on this this painting I think I think I'm gonna stop this r right here okay but I'm going to finish it, and like I say, we have the GoPro above us, so I'm going to, we're going to keep that running, and um, and I'll, I'll show the complete video of this entire thing. On yeah. The, and every Monday, whenever we do a painting, I'm, I'll every Monday I want to I want to upload a um, a fast video, so it just shows the painting all the way through. That's really cool. Why like that? What looks? Oh, that's cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's fun. I don't know. It's like I wish I could paint that fast for real. <laughs> I think you do. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I guess your name's just Steven. <laughs> Who's Steven? Steven King. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the art world. Who's Steven? I was trying to think of a famous Steven. <laughs> Man. Well, guys, is there anything you, any, anything you guys want to add? Um, well, on What's the... What's going on in the chat? Uh, well... Uh, Sam said he'll get, Sam, Sam said she'll get Andy a beer, I guess, anytime he needs it, if he's building something. I may be, or I don't know, the chat might be, I don't know, I might be behind <laughs> on the chat, but she said something about, um, I'll help him, you know, get him a beer when he needs it, help oh, him. Oh, <laughs> oh, good, that's nice. So, um. Always ready to pitch in. Uh, Josh Robb said paint um, Abe Lincoln or George Washington. That'd be cool. Um, oh. and Abe Lincoln Donna, with a man bun? <laughs> yeah. George yeah. Washington with a man bun. Well, there you go. There you go. He's, he's halfway there. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. with, with curls. Um, um, Jefferson's almost really almost there. And uh, Donna, Donna Robb said um, loved the Gandhi and Einstein. Um, oh, thank you. And and uh Gunny just left the studio this week he's off to yeah he's off to dubai oh dubai oh. yes who is? Who is? the gandhi painting oh. got was oh. sold oh really so, yeah there there's um a collector in dubai that just mm -hmm. thankfully aw awesomely loves john's work and and mm -hmm. and, and just oh yeah he's, <laughs> he's so awesome. much so it's awesome but uh yeah i think he he probably is gonna I think he's he's you know plotting your demise, so they'll be worth something eventually. Well, hey guys, um, just just to pull it one, once more back to this and the the whole circle and the technique of the week and thing, um, you know, I, I hope that helps a little bit about the proportions and stuff. Just keeping the proportions. I know one of the hard things is when if you're trying to sketch your pet. Um, oh, you know, here's one thing you could do is you could get a. Um, um, I, I read this online on a, a Pinterest. I'm trying to understand Pinterest. A little bit. Of it goes in Reddit. I, both of them. I'm, I'm, I'm not up to speed. But I, I read a thing. I, of course, first things I check are art. It was saying um, if you want to pet, if you want to draw like your pet, you can take a photo of your pet. And you, you could do. You, you can start doing this modeling thing with them to figure out, you know, what what the proportions of your pet's face is. 
That's cool. So, so you could go ahead and draw a circle on them, draw the lines, and then and then you know, like, oh, where are the lines lines inter, intersect on that circle for your particular pet. You can take that and go to a canvas and then draw the line and start going. And you know, but it gives you a, a nice place to start where at least mm -hmm. at least your proportions are going to be right. The eyes are going to be the right distance apart, the nose and all that kind of stuff. So that might help a little bit. Hmm. Are you type type typing or way? I am. I I should say Josh Rob um, asked who won the drawing this week and. Oh, um, oh. And, well, we, we, time got away from us and, and we didn't, we didn't have a question and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we didn't do a drawing this week, but, um, but next, the next time we will do a drawing and I am going to include a um, packet of the root beer. <laughs> Drink. Oh my god. So that, so that I can share in the seventies with You are trying are you to sure hot this stuff. I didn't slip you that root beer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh look, it's almost gone, huh? Nice uh, anyway. Root beer drink. Oh, tip of the week. Go see <laughs> sausage party. Oh no no. No no no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. oh my gosh, people. <laughs> It was her idea. I'm just gonna say that. But they both. I, I watched Jack and and they both and my dad. Uh, all the three of you guys went and saw. Debbie came to me and was like, party. "I have to see this. Get John to watch Jack. You have to go see this with me. We have to go see this." And so I went and saw it with you, and it was. Y'all had a good time. It was your humor. It was vulgar and hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you had to explain all of it to me. Oh yeah. Let's. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is the worst part of a painting when it's all wet and you can't touch it. You know, it's really like dry, so I can touch you again. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, well, guys, thanks so much for this week, Mom. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you and, for having me. Well, anytime. And um, and, and next week, I'm not sure what what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure that out. Um, we want to do a live show every week that we can, but um, we, you know, we are gonna be on the road. We're gonna be in Corpus Christi. Yeah, we'll probably do like snippets of videos and, and post them. So, like the finished pa this finished painting. You know, the, the fast version will be posted on Facebook and, and YouTube on um, Monday. And then the art news we're going to segment out. And we'll post that on, like, Wednesday or something like that. So um, if you're curious how it ends, um, you know, make sure and subscribe to the to the YouTube channel or uh, follow John or friend him or whatever. And you'll see. Yeah, like, friend me, man. Feed. Yeah, that would be um, awesome. And you can stay connected yeah and, and Friday really depends because we're setting up there and they they block off the streets and stuff so it depends on when they tell us when we can set up so yeah and we, so we don't be, know if we can be yeah, yeah we yeah we, we may not know if we can do it till Friday yeah we, we do, do a, li a live show from the beach yeah we might <laughs> you know, we, you know we, we, we may just get a, a selfie stick for the iPad yeah really then, we're then. not hanging my iPad over some water it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so well, but well, anyway well, thank you guys. I Thanks appreciate for it. Y'all, y'all coming, and I'll finish up Echo, and I'll put it. It'll, it'll be out Monday. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>